Hi, I'm Alessio from Mirage Interactive, and as I said in the previous devlog, I'm now going to explain how I and Ilario have been working on Florifer so far. As always, you can find the links to Florifer's social channels in the description below. I would also like to thank everyone who posted comments and asked questions below the previous devlogs and on our social pages. With this third episode of the devlog, we want to close the introduction to the development of the game by explaining what we did so far in the time we had. Florifer's actual development started with a new year, in January 2020. After various discussions and brainstorming sessions, I and Ilario came up with the base concept of the project, then immediately moved to the writing of a GDD. For those who are not familiar with game design, it stands for Game Design Document, and it's a paper in which all the features of a game are written down in a specific order. It is an essential tool for the entire team to work in the best possible way. Next, Ilario started programming the base movement system for the protagonist, based upon the one provided by Unreal Engine 4, tweaking and customizing it to better suit the character we had in mind and the level of world exploration we wanted to achieve. After that, he focused on the base mechanics. He set up the systems for gathering and using the various items with which the player will be able to interact. The Potorn, the giant vase in which the seeds will be planted, which is programmed to be picked up and put down, allow the planting of a seed and show a very basic draft of a status screen of the flower. The Potorn also works as an inventory, in which the players can store the items they prefer to take with them in the exploration. The inventory can be opened both from the Potorn's menu and through the quick selection system, which allows you to rapidly switch and equip items. Meanwhile, I took care of the graphics. For the concept art, I'm looking for a balance between speed of execution and functionality. Since we don't have a concept artist entirely dedicated to this important side of the development, I need to get the drawings done as quick and as good as possible at the same time, so that I can easily turn them into 3D objects. Moreover, Ilario must approve them, and this slows down the process. Anyway, this approach seems to be working for now, and I already have a bunch of drawings for items and game elements and also a couple of illustrations for specific moods we want to create in particular areas for Florifer's world. The protagonist was the very first graphical element we defined. We wanted a nice, iconic and friendly creature. Therefore, the barrier has gentle lines and rounded shapes in general. For his tonic, I directly drew inspiration from Aiko, of which I loved the close swinging in the wind. The ears, instead, are a tribute to Kronoa, another video game of my childhood which really marked me. The animations are made in with Blender along with the entire process of modeling and texturing. We don't have the skills nor the resources for motion capture, but for now we don't need it. I might need in the future to, to use rotoscoping for some more complex animations. For those who don't know, Rotoscoping means animating a 3D model or a drawing using a video or a series of images portraying the action as base and reference. The game assets are modeled as soon as I have a concept art approved by Lario and a color palette for reference, and they are prioritized depending on what we need to be ready both on the tech and on the player side. I am aiming for a stylized look with a mix of sculpture and then painted textures. It's a style I'm personally very passionate with, and Florifer is a great chance for me to improve in this field. Finally, we started blocking out the game map and some of the main areas, like the very first one in the adventure. This aspect of the project has been object of discussions for quite a long time, because we are still thinking about the actual scale of the game and the level of detail we can afford to put in every grass leaf or rock we'll place in the game world. This is what has been done on Florifer so far. We would like to mention that Florifer is not our primary job and this affects its development. Anyway, we are trying our best to spend as much time as possible on it so that we can finish and share it with all the people we can. I hope you enjoyed this devlog. Please keep following us on our social channels and consider jumping on our Discord server to chat with us or ask whatever you want about Floyfer. Take care, see you soon.